What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Is it time to cover some survival gear? It is Survival 30. Hey, I just picked this up and I was super intrigued by it because it was really inexpensive. And you've seen here on the channel uh, lots of survival gear, but lots of paracord bracelets too. I really like those. They have been super helpful. And uh, as I was surf surfing around, I found this little bad boy and it is a paracord bracelet, as you can see, but with a watch attached to it. Now, what's interesting here is I can see how they've kind of done it. They've been really clever with the way the paracord is wound and they kind of have braced in this spring bar right there so I could put that back in but as you can see it's not really a traditional mount it's just some really clever um, knitting of the or weaving of the spring bar into the paracord itself so uh, if I can't get this back in here with my fingers I will not force you to sit through it um, I'm not going to force you to sit through it. So anyway, I could uh, reattach this and this will work very much like a watch. So that is pretty cool. And as you can see here, we actually have uh, a watch. Uh, I would assume this is like a cast, a die cast steel here painted black. Uh, as far as I could tell, all the listings were like the same watch dial, but the paracord itself was different. You can get this in black or gray or brown. And you can see here we have a quartz movement. It was running out of the box. We have a tiny crown here. I can adjust the time. I'm not sure. I think all these other things are just for aesthetic. So obviously we've got hour and minute and then seconds, but these pushers and, and all these sub dials here are just purely aesthetic. So it's inexpensive, but like I said, the whole thing is. So it's just really for keeping time and having a little bit of traditional watch looks to it. Then right up here, we have a uh, thermometer or a temperature gauge. But uh, this thermometer is in Celsius, I believe, and it's kind of showing oh, a little under 20 degrees right now, which sounds about right. I don't really, I'm not really good at uh, estimating the the um, the feel of a 20 degree room, but I know 30 gets starts getting real hot. So that's kind of interesting for some of us in the U.S. Fahrenheit might be a little bit more uh, appreciated, but you can see here it's a little plastic thing and then it's mounted on there. Uh, and it looks like the paracord maybe goes through a plastic loop underneath, so you don't have to worry about that falling off. All right, then we get down here to this buckle and we've got a uh, oil-filled compass. So we've got this floating around so you, you know which direction you're heading and that seems to work. Then we also have a whistle right here. Well, wow, that one works, no problem. The buckle here to close the clasp, and what you might be able to see here is we have a little blade, which not only could you use like uh, for kind of cutting some string and whatnot, cutting the paracord to length, but you also have a little ferro rod right here. Usually as a coating, this little black stuff, so you might have to scrape that off first, but pull this out here and then use this scraper to scrape it and maybe throw some sparks. I might uh, save your hide out in the wilderness there. And then as you can see, we get a lot of cordage here. I'm not even sure what the full length of it is, but uh, you would definitely be able to tie out a tarp or create a brace or um, a sling, whatever you might need. And it's just nice to have all of this in kind of one package. And if I throw it around my fairly large wrist here, I've got about a seven inch wrist, which is pretty big. And there we go, get it on. A little stiff just because of what it, everything that's on here, but you can do it with one hand. There you go. This is a nice fit. It's a little loose, which is nice so that even if you have a bigger wrist, you don't have to worry about it. But uh, then I got my watch, my compass, all that, and my survival gear right with me. Pretty cool. Now, let me tell you about the best part of this. It was only 10 bucks, 10 bucks with shipping, which is kind of crazy to me because that seems really inexpensive for <laughs> Uh, a pretty cool piece of kit here. So when you go out into the wilderness, you know, exploring your your great America or other parts, you know, be able to have all these tools, have a little survival gear right on your wrist. It doesn't get any more convenient than that. Check it out. I will put a link to this in the description below. I picked it up on Amazon. Like I said, $10 with shipping. Pretty awesome. Peter Von Panda, out.